Welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, we're in the car here because it is super loud outside at the Beer, Bourbon, and Barbecue Festival here in Atlanta. I'm here with Shane, the bourbon... Bourbon provocateur for Garrison Brothers Distillery. Yeah, there very you first go. legal bourbon coming out of the great state of Texas. There you go. And so I was lucky enough to get into the, the VIP tasting, and they have some amazing product. And we're going to do a little bit of a car tasting. Now, this is not suggesting that you drink and drive. Please never do that. Um, but this is just a good place to do it because we can get out of the heat um, because it is warm here in Atlanta. So um, what is the first thing we're going to try here? So the first thing we're going to try is our small batch bourbon. So we're the very first legal distillery or legal bourbon distillery, excuse me, coming out of great state of Texas. Texas. We do two things at our distillery. We make bourbon and bad jokes. That's literally it. <laughs> we are a weeded bourbon. Everything we do is the exact same mash bill. We're doing all Texas grain. 74% white corn from the south of Texas. 15% soft red run wheat. That makes us a little bit different. And then 11% uh, malted barley. So we start off first thing in the morning by making the best white dog, the best white lightning, the best moonshine, the best spirit, the best hooch you can possibly make. We roll it into our barrels, into our single story rick houses, and we don't even take a look at it until it's at least three years old. That's where the journey when the bourbon's ready starts. So Donna's taught our master to still taste the barrels, and when they're ready, that's where it'll go in right now. So what you're having right now is our small batch bourbon. So that's a combination of about 50 to 60 of our barrels at a time for consistency. So that's the one with the black wax. We'll get some photos later, I'm sure. So every time you have that bottle, it's gonna be the exact same. And we proved it down to 94 proof bourbon. So uh, any other day of the week, winning and why, and especially at a whiskey festival, it gets you where you want to go. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is absolutely everything that you want in a bourbon. It's smooth. It's a little bit smoky. Out. Oh, labels, labels, labels out. Labels out. out. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's smooth. It's smoky. There's some light notes of caramel in here. Um, a very mild sweetness. It's not like you it's definitely not a rye. You know you're drinking a bourbon. Um, I mean, you could do this neat. You could do this on a rock. And would you would you mix it? So my rule of thumb, and not just with our bourbon, with any spirit, is you can always add. You can never subtract. Always start and try it neat. You can always add water. You can always add ice. If you start with it on the rocks, you can't take it out. So that's my suggestion. But I mean. Unless you're really mixing this with a mango white claw, you're not gonna offend me. Enjoy it how you enjoy it. Don't let anybody tell you how to drink your whiskey. That's not what any of us try to do. There you go.